resolutions come and go, but how can we create sustainable goals? Dr. Brian Curtis, Vice President of Clinical Specialty Services with OSF Healthcare, joins us for the answer. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Yes, so we're over a month into the new year for those who've maybe given up on their resolutions. How can they get back on track? Yeah, you know, we have always talked about, you know, making the resolution specific. And, uh, you know, part of the planning is is that you're going to fall off. You're going you're gonna to go off rails for a little bit. Uh, and the goal would be to, to have a plan to get back on. And if you didn't have a plan, this is the time just to restart the resolution and, and, and get back at it. Yes. And for goals, what tips do you have for the people who are kind of just starting out? They never really made big goals before. Yeah, I, I think that's the point is it's not, it doesn't have to be a big goal. It can be a very small goal. And even in your mind, it be be very small. But it has to be very specific. And it has to be something for you and so not for somebody else. And so you see people like, I'm going to lose weight. Well, that doesn't mean anything. And it could mm -hmm. be just a focus of, you know, I'm going to look, I'm going to try to lose two pounds this month or I'm going to exercise more, which isn't specific. Instead of saying, I'm going to go for a walk three days a week. So, so yeah, so, basically that little progress still is progress. Yes. And, and so every little bit helps. And, and so, you know, and, and it could be simply as I'm going to park at the end of the parking lot and walk in. And then so <laughs> graduation improvement. And so you do that and then you have the next step. Yes, and what are some of the biggest resolutions you would say that you see? Yeah, and so the, the big ones I see, again, are, are too general and specific, but it's like, I'm going to eat better. Uh, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to spend more time with my family. And, and so very broad, general things, but instead of saying, I'm gonna have, we're going to have dinner together two nights a week, uh, or I'm going to focus on eating three servings of vegetables a week, and, and so those are very specific categories under those broad. So how can people kind of keep things in perspective and not put so much pressure on themselves if they maybe don't get it right or they just need an extra push to keep those resolutions up? Yeah, yeah and, and, and it's not about getting it right. And, and, and that's the first piece. And it's not the, to be perfect. It's to make yourself better over time. And so if you look at yourself two weeks ago, and compared to now, that should be the focus, not about being perfect. That is really wise advice there. I'm like, ah, to take notes about <laughs> that one. <laughs> and it's also Heart Month. What are some tips you have to promote good heart health? Yeah, the, the big one is that almost all uh, really heart disease risk factors are modifiable. So your weight, your diet, your cholesterol, your blood pressure, diabetes, and smoking, those are the big ones. So those are all modifiable and controllable. The one that you, you can't control is family history. And so really what I stress to people is if you have a family history of heart disease, that's when you need to get into your doctor and really kind of adjust or talk about what, how you can modify your risk factors. And then if you're female, realizing that the number one killer for females is heart disease. And so one of every five women's death is caused by heart disease. And so it is a very large number, and I don't think people realize it as much. They talk about breast cancer, they talk about all these other things, but to recognize that actually heart disease is the number one killer for women. Wow, and how early do you think people can start to learn more about their cardiovascular health? What age? There's, uh, you know, all ages, right? And so, you know, there's no time uh, like the present to teach your kids proper eating habits, exercise things, not to smoke. You know, those are the times to instill that. Now, if you've gotten out of that thing, just like your resolutions, right? You know, my New Year's resolution is to stop smoking, and I'm going to do it by I'm going to cut down my cigarettes or however you're going to do it. But it's never too early to start. Never too early and never, never too, too late. Never too late, exactly. That's Never perfect. too late. But thank you so much for letting us know how we can continue on with our goals, whether they're small or big. Yeah. We definitely appreciate it. We'll be right back.